A shocking photo has revealed William and Catherine made a huge mistake while diving for Andrew. The Princess of Wales has been photographed for the first time in six weeks and one detail is hotly contested. Hello and welcome to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. Maybe the air is too clean, maybe the local salmon is too fresh. Or maybe it's because they're stuck hundreds of miles from a decent cafe, how else can we possibly explain the fact that the royal family keeps on making the same horrible mistake when they collectively head north and take up residence about moral for a couple of weeks of board games and overcooked venison and non-stop tart? William and Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales and their crew of Tiny H have arrived in Scotland for the annual bout of Windsor Fami. The fact that we know because they were photographed headed to the local church, Kirk on Sunday, and the problem has nothing to do with the fact that their idea of a vacation looks. I don't know a little bit boring, but instead we are worried about who was with them who was sitting in the front seat of the car, reviled former UK trade ambassador Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. That slightly startled facial expression, dark light of the highlands, a future princess who shares a car with a man with a reputation slightly worse than an STD. It all reminded us of the time in the 20s, 19s, when the late queen happily took Andrew Church for just a few hours. After the death of Jeffrey Epstein. Here we see the Prince and Princess of Wales making one of his worst mistakes after focusing on Unitarianism and copying Tony Benn's writings. So we have to wonder what exactly William was. What were they thinking, do they really think they'll be happy driving with Prince Andre, given the visit to the church? I mean there are some people who are very image conscious. It was carefully calibrated, so we asked ourselves the question, why, why would a family of Wales agree to play happy family? Now that this bad parent is a parent, they do their best to avoid open contact with him. We learned last year that William stepped in to prevent Andrew from attending the Windsor Garter.it was the first such meeting of the order since the pandemic, and also since Prince Andrew's problems with the Evening Standard. It was reported at the time that William was so irritated by Andrew's attempt to regain popularity by attending Garter Day that he threatened to withdraw from it altogether. According to reports, the king remained steadfast, according to an elder I did not know that York would give up if he insisted on appearing in public, and that suited William perfectly. He must carefully distance himself and Catherine from Andrew. He had to do it to protect his reputation. So how did we get from there to here? I mean, before William seemed to understand that Andrew was toxic, now it looks like he and Catherine are happy to have a photo with him. William, Catherine, and Andrew had entirely different spheres of opinion. On one side are William and Catherine, whom almost everyone adores. I mean, they could be found guilty of petty crimes, but that wouldn't even affect their popularity much. On the other hand, we have a man whose name will forever be linked to sexual abuse allegations against teenage girls. He denies the allegations, of course, but anyway, who can forget Friday's sex offender Jeffrey Epstein unless he can somehow single handedly promote peace in the Middle East? East that I don't believe his reputation will ever be fully restored. So why would William and Catherine be at risk of infection if Andrew was seen happily going to church with him on the street? The rest of the family dresses separately, Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, the Duke and Duke of Edinburgh, and Princess Anne and her husband were all in the same car. King Charles and Queen Camilla then rode in a King Bentley. I mean, they can't justify it with the need for carpooling. I mean, William and Catherine could have easily avoided it if they objected to being photographed with his disgraced Uncle Andrew. What conclusions can we draw but that we are seen, Andrew was a choice they made on purpose. I mean Tim. All this chaos is crazy. He came under heavy criticism last week for opting out of the Women's World Cup although England reached the final, the cup was hosted by two Republican nations, and he was also chairman of the English Football Association and then last year it was reported that the Wales board were investigating whether William and Cotter could fly to the men's World Cup final if England reached the final. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Until now. There is no official explanation for William's neglect of what appears to be work during his time with Catherine. Meanwhile, 
The long summer break and the bachelor party at Kensington Palace sparked a shocking social media video of William and Princess Charlotte holding a football. So, why would William do this? I mean, this was at a time when a lot of people were accusing him of acting out. He thought it would be nice to get a picture with his uncle Randy, oh my god. What a terrible decision. Recall that Andrew was someone who appeared on TV but for some reason forgot to show sympathy for victims of human trafficking. Now, perhaps the king is trying to reconcile with his brother. He offered her a stew and an apartment at Balmoral to holiday there. But that doesn't mean William and Catherine should follow their example. Not that William and Catherine have shown that they are quite willing to risk upsetting Her Majesty and do what's best for their brand. Who could forget all this series of videos on social networks? Their team worked on Coronation Weekend and for some reason forgot to focus on the real king and the real queen. On the contrary, the whole event seems to be a good thing for the Marquess of Wales. There was a faint hint that this all happened on the way home from church when Andrew had to sit in the back seat. Well, let him travel. Do you agree with the views expressed in my video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below that we can also talk about members of the royal family. If you liked our video tonight, don't be afraid to like it and share it with your friends and loved ones who need it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Princess Diana News channel for more videos from our team. Thanks for watching, goodbye and see you tomorrow.